do you mean it sucks? This pepper beef is too damn spicy! <laughs> What are you talking about? This is good. How's it going guys? Pepper Beef Too Spicy here. Oh yeah, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing alright. And well I'm starting this is the start of what is probably, I hope. I always say this and then like I never keep up. A new series of videos. Um these are not really anything too crazy. These are just uh what do you call them? Monthly. Like monthly update videos on the channel. I felt like uh they would be really, really uh helpful to the channel just to see. What's going on if I just do like an update video every month? And I always think about doing update videos, like this vlog kind of stuff, but it's like I never, I never really think about, I never think about doing one until now. But, um, opportunity presents itself because I have a nice new webcam, which you can't see, a nice, uh, I forgot what it's called, a C920, yeah, it's Logitech C920, very good webcam. Hopefully it looks all fancy, nice, it's much better than the, compared to the last vlog I did where I showed my face. Anyways. Before I stumble on too much, because whenever I talk sometimes, I tend to twist words. When I was back in elementary school, I used to have a speech problem with the S word. With S sounds, and I still kind of do, though it's obviously not as bad as... But that's completely random. Uh, so, anyways, part of this monthly series, let's just talk about how the channel is doing, and some news and upcoming stuff for the channel. Um, as the... First, of course, the Jackie Channel Let's Play is about to be finished. It's going to be finished uh, within this week. All, all 15 or 16, probably 15, 16, probably 15 parts of it will be uploaded um, by the end of this week. It's a very short Let's Play that I wanted to do because I haven't played that game in forever and I never beat it. Um, as of this moment right now, I haven't beaten it. I've got to the, f the second to last stage, I think, or the final stage. And yeah, I'll just wrap that up. It's very simple. I, just, I ran into an emulation problem. Like, I lost my save state, so I had to do it again. And other Let's Plays I'm thinking of, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I, I planned... Uh, for a long time to do Let's Play of the Dragon Age series, and um, I wanted to do 1 and 2, Origins and 2, before Dragon Age uh, Inquisition came out, and considering how long it took me to do Dark Souls, I don't think that's possible, although maybe I'll just like speedrun it. But then it's like, I'm running the game for the sake of getting it out before Inquisition, instead of like just doing it just so I'd enjoy it. So. Probably just gonna do it sometime later. Those are the only two Let's Plays that are coming soon. Maybe I'm gonna do Warcraft 3, maybe I'm gonna do another Centuries Episode 2, and maybe I'm gonna do Spyro the Dragon. That I might actually... That's probably the most likely out of any of them is Spyro the Dragon. Clearing my throat. Uh, as for uh, most of the tech and stuff, um... Yeah, so like as of right now, like I put, into, I put a lot of work into the YouTube channel. I'm feeling the burnout. <laughs> I'm really feeling it because I had I had all these ideas in the summer and I made a lot of them happen and I'm like really happy about that but even though I got like a, still a couple more ideas for videos and new ones still uh, uh, happening um, I'm feeling the burnout I'm feeling that I need to take a break so that's why it's been a couple slow it's been slow this August uh, nothing really too crazy on the uploads it also helps that uh, we haven't really heard anything big about Tekken 7 recently, so I can't really say, like, make a video about Tekken 7 if there's nothing to report about Tekken 7 that hasn't already been said. There is the new Arab character, Arab, it, it would just be Arab, Arab character who was revealed, and we don't even know if he's gonna be an actual character in the game. Harada said that he wanted this character to be in the game, but it's not a final, nothing's final yet. Even his design is not final. He could look completely different by the time it comes out, or he could be um, a character who's not even going to be in the game. Because I guess Zafina wasn't really cutting it for the whole Middle Eastern character thing, so they want to try it again. Although I gotta say, he looks too much like Altair from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> as of right now. Oh, and Namco already did Ezio and Soul Calibur, so I don't want to see any of that. And, uh, I'll just be reporting tech and stuff and stuff as the news comes out. Tokyo Game Show is coming up, so definitely be looking into that. More gameplay on the way. Uh, tutorials? I don't know if I'm gonna do any big ones soon because, uh, to be honest, I'm, I've reached the point where I'm like, I'm like, I've played every single character that I like. In Tekken, I don't really care about rest of the rest of the cast, really. One exception that I do know how to play that I have made the tutorial for is Steve. Um, the problem with Steve is that he's too freaking hard that I would just be considered a noob to a real Steve player. So there's no there's no point in me making a Steve tutorial because it'd be shit, pretty much. 
pretty much it would be like Steve shit. Steve Fox, the shittiest tutorial you've ever seen in your life. One of the things I, I am planning on doing though with tutorials is I am planning on redoing my Law and Late tutorial sometime soon. Uh, the thing is, uh, while I have an idea to do that because I felt when I did the tutorial, especially well, both of them, I equally felt that um, in, in retrospect that I could have done them a lot better. Um, the thing is that I don't want to make another tutorial because Tekken 7 is coming out and when Tekken 7 comes out, I'm definitely going to make a lolly. Everybody I've done in Tekken Tag 2 probably tutorial. And I don't want to have three tutorials on my channel for the same character. I don't know, it doesn't flow well. It's just, like, it doesn't look organized. I'd have to like delete one of them, but I don't want to because it's like a reminder that I had a really nice video a long time ago. While it's an idea, I don't know if I want to do it just yet. I might just stick to like the in-depth series, which Technically will never end because I've done like a whole bunch of them, but technically I can just do them anytime So that's what that's what, like pretty much what I'm planning with tutorials But I do have like some other Tekken videos planned some aesthetic stuff more top 10 stuff um, I have been thinking of doing tier list uh, videos just like a very general and stuff to do with Tekken Not just like gameplay or tutorials stuff as for the influence series I have considered doing Bruce from you with Muay Thai, but he's gonna be a bit more difficult to do and I have thought about doing Steve for boxing and maybe Marduk for MMA although to be honest I'm not a big fan of MMA um, so I don't know if that's gonna ever come to fruition but as of right now I'm definitely thinking about um, Bruce for Muay Thai and Steve for boxing although outside of Tekken I might think of doing some influence videos for Dead or Alive and maybe do some kind of like historical breakdown of martial arts you know from fighting games like you know the Jeet Kune Do and the Kung Fu and all that, or maybe in Soul Calibur, like the swords and the weapons they kind of use, maybe do like some kind of analysis of those, just because, just because, I don't know, there's not a lot of videos, there's no videos of that on YouTube, so I might as well do them, because it's like, it's a cool idea, you know? And usually when you have a cool idea, it turns out to be successful. Life tips. Coming up, we have Summer Jam 8 this weekend, um, as this goes up on August, this will be up on August 26th, so by this weekend, I'll be at Summer Jam 8. Uh, representing New Jersey, not really, I'm just from New Jersey and playing there. And I'll be playing Tekken, which is free, which is crazy. And usually in tournaments you have to pay an entry fee to the tournament, and then you gotta pay a fee for the game you're playing. Tekken is so dead that it doesn't have a fee, even Soul Calibur doesn't have a fee either. Which is kind of a plus, because I don't have to pay more money, I only have to pay 40 bucks, because I'm not uh, staying at a hotel, because I have a friend who lives by. Anyways, yeah, I'll be at Summer Jam 8. Maybe I'll be on stream. If you're gonna be at Summer Jam 8, I'll see you guys there. Or I'll see you there. It's wouldn't really be right to say guys if I'm talking to one. I'll see you there. If you, you'll probably know what I look like by this, so just hit me up. You know, approach. I'm not, I don't bite. Um, I'll just be hanging around the Tekken stations mostly, and I'll, sometimes I'll wander over to the Marvel, see what's going on over there. And, um, what else is happening? Yeah, I haven't been to a tournament in a while, so I'm excited. I am very excited. I have to say, I have, I'm not really prepared for it. I, I've kind of burned out on a Tekken as well. After so many Tekken videos I've been doing these past months, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls. And I know that's not you guys' favorite game, but I'm playing Dark Souls. <laughs> I have my own free will. Man has a life as well outside of Tekken. And, uh, well, what else is going on here? Well, I think that's most of what I have to talk about for upcoming events. Uh, well, I guess let's just talk about some minor vlog stuff. So, uh, step one is this. There goes my phone. It's hot as balls right now. I hate, I hate the temperature of summer. I, I am like definitely a cold weather person. Like I cannot live anywhere like below New Jersey because it's too freaking hot. Like I would love to live in SoCal just to play the Tekken scene, but Yo, screw the screw the hot weather. I I I have to live in cold weather. It's no bueno, no bueno. And that's weird because I'm Filipino. This cookie right here, pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's too much salt though. Long story short, this is a cookie my sister baked. My sister and me choking on nothing. Need water. Unexpectedly, I actually enjoy baking. It's actually a new hobby of mine. I only really st recently started doing it, but I enjoy doing it for whatever reason. As unmanly as that sounds, baking quite fun, and it produces 
quite delicious results if I do say so myself. Mm, yes. Although this cookie is my sister's. My cookie is not here because uh, I've eaten most of them and mine are nowhere as good as hers because she's like a pro. And I'm like, I'm like a scrub. So I'm baking scrub, but I enjoy it. I'm gonna level up to making brownies soon, but right now I only know how to make cookies. And they're pretty good. They don't look that great, but they're pretty good, I guarantee. And they all bring some of the summer juice. They get so hot in here that my water had like five ice cubes in it, and they've all melted. I actually had to turn off my fan. I don't know if you could see that in the back. I had to turn it off because it gets loud, and I didn't want the, the microphone picking up. So right now, I am slowly baking in an oven right now because like computer plus PS3, which is not on, usually the PS3 is on because I'm like, at the same time I'm browsing the computer, I usually just like play Tekken or Dark Souls or whatever. And those two exhausts combined together is just like super oven status in my room. Other news, um, in my stream recently, uh, you might have noticed that there are guns on my wall, and I don't own a gun. I don't own a gun. They're actually just um, airsoft guns. Like, let me demonstrate to you right now. Like, I could just. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not real. Orange tip. But, as surprising as it may be, I used to be a pretty hardcore uh, airsoft. If you don't know what airsoft is, it's basically a replica firearms like this. And they fire uh, white 6mm, uh, sometimes 8, usually 6mm, um, white plastic. You know, when they hit you, they hurt, but not that much. It's like, it's like, a, it's like if somebody pinched you for like a 0.5, like a fraction of a second. It's not that bad, really. And especially if you're wearing like some kind of thick clothing if it's it's uh, cold, you don't really feel it. You just, it's like a tap. It's not bad. It's like paintball, but it's more, um, milit, 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 milsim. There we go. It's like, it's like military simulation, you know. I, myself, am not in the military. I've gotten offers to join the military, considering that I like history, but I am not, that's not for me. The military life is not for me. Unless, of course, you know, something changes dramatically drastically two, to two years down the line, or three years, whatever. But, at this point, and so I was in high school. I was big into guns. I was big into military stuff. I mean, I was pretty much into everything military without the actual fact of me joining the military. Bit strange hobby to have, but that was me. So when I was heard about this thing called Airsoft, where you could like, you know, play play war essentially, just like two teams shooting at each other with guns and military gear and all that. Well, I was like, shit, that's an amazing idea. So I was just like, bang like bang and like bang they're quite expensive should never keep your finger on the trigger by the way and they're quite expensive guns range from 50 to like 200 dollars decent guns at least 150 dollars at least but i'm not here to talk to you about airsoft because you guys don't subscribe to me for airsoft stuff uh that's just a hobby that i used to do and this is right here this is an m1911 it well a modern version of it anyways um, the orange tip, of course, signifies that it is an airsoft gun. A lot of people take off the orange tips because it doesn't look nice and it makes it easy to spot, but if you are carrying the gun, transportation-wise, like in a plane or something, well, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it taking it on a plane anyways, but you would have to have the orange tip in shipping. And here's like the magazine, just look at that. The BB goes right here, and you would put the gas here because this is a gas-based gun. Most guns are electric-based, but some, mostly pistols, are gas-based. Although the rifles that are gas-based, that was like a, such a random segue into airsoft. You guys probably don't even give a shit about that. But anyways, um, before I sign off here, as I eat this cookie that's melting before me, I have to say a couple things before I end this video that's getting way too long. Probably didn't mention this, but... Um, I'm gonna be away for the next uh, three days. I'm gonna be in Cleveland visiting my sister. I'm helping her move, rather for the next two days, because I'm only I'm there for two days, but I'm leaving on the third day. So technically, I'm there for two days and like a fourth, because uh, I'm because I'm leaving in the morning. But yeah, before I go to Summer Jam, I will be visiting my sister in Cleveland. I'm taking a plane. I'm gonna be away for a couple days. I'll bring my laptop with me so I can still upload videos and stuff, because most of the videos that I upload now that you see on the channel. They're already uploaded, they're just private, so I don't really need to do any hard work, but I won't be doing any recording, I won't be playing any Tekken for the next uh, two days. Cleveland is not a amazing place, I gotta say. If you live in Cleveland, I'm sorry, but I didn't have fun last time I was there. The city, anyways. I had fun with my sister, but not with the city. is uh, quite, um, quite dead, <laughs> like Tekken. Finally, the sign-off, I have to say, 
Um, it's I, I I planned to make a 1,000 subscriber video and I didn't do it. Um, and so I guess this is making up for it because it's been a long summer. I did a lot of work and I I wasn't sure if it was gonna be getting good stuff. And I you know honestly I didn't think I was gonna get this far. I mean like there are YouTubers you know like Wild Crandor and Necroscope86 and Nintendo Capri Sun. I gotta shout out those guys, those guys are my inspirations for YouTube. And I was like, I'm never gonna get to their status. And I'm still not at their status, and I don't know if I will. But I never expected I'd get a thousand subs. A thousand five hundred subs, no less. It's a thousand I I always round up. So like a thousand four seventy is automatically one thousand five hundred for me. And if it's like one thousand four forty, then it's one thousand four hundred for me. I'm glad that my work is not just entertaining to me, that it's not just pleasing to me that it's pleasing to other people which means that it's worth you know more than i thought it was because the bruce lee video that i put out the the one that got all this shenanigans started the influence series the origins series whatever you want to call it it's a weird name for a video series i that was a random idea that i had one night. i was like huh you know this would be a good idea for a video let me upload it i didn't even know like i just put it on youtube i didn't even know it was gonna get super famous and whatever like hundred thousand views i didn't know and I'm happy that I did choose to upload it, and I'm happy I got that. It's not about me, because, well, it is. This doesn't make any sense. It's not about you, but it is. What? Mostly what I'm trying to say here is it's all you guys, you know. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I cannot, I cannot express how cool you guys are for, for staying with me, subscribing, for commenting, for liking, for watching, for everything that you do. Because you give me the confidence to make more videos and keep going. Put a little coin in my pocket? Nah, it's not really, that's not really the important part. The important part is that you guys made my summer a lot better than it could have been. Making, you know, making awesomeness with, uh, oh god, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I just want to say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for everything else. I'm probably repeating myself now. I always do that. Thank you for everything, because, you know, I would not have gotten this far in YouTube without you guys. You guys are the core. You know, I just, I make the stuff, but it, you guys are the ones that really uh, make my day. You know, I always read the comments. I try to reply if it's relevant. Like, sometimes, like, there was this one guy. I'm getting into a segue. Holy crap, stop. <laughs> okay, you know, I already said thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys make me awesome, because you guys are the best, way better than me. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me, and I will see you guys in the fall. So, this has been Pepper Too Spicy, this was the worst vlog of all time. I'll see you guys later.